Hello, I'm Jenny Bond. I've been reporting on the Royals for, oh goodness me, 30 years or so. I've travelled the world with them all and got to know one or two of them. And I'm not, I'm not a great one for collecting memorabilia, but inevitably, travelling around, you know, you do, you do have some, some bits and pieces. Um, and perhaps the most important is, is this. It, it, it's a bit weird to have a pair of tights, I know, but I was with um, Diana, Princess of Wales, once at Kensington Palace, and uh, I, I admired her legs. I said, you've got such great legs, ma'am. And she ran out of the bedroom and she presented me with a pair of tights, and uh, I wore them. They were my royal tights, and then I laddered them. So I wrote her a little note and said, oh, I'm so sorry, ma'am, I, I laddered my royal tights, but my legs still didn't look like yours anyway. And uh, the next thing, I was invited to the palace and given this box. It had a lid then, this is years ago, um, and I took it home. And inside there were seven pairs of tights. These are they, just two left now. Because when Diana died, it didn't seem right to wear them anymore. So those are my two pairs of tights from Diana. And she gave me a little note as well, which was, which was lovely, which I've obviously kept. So this is dated actually Christmas time, 1996. So a year before she died. I hope you see the amusing side of this package. Anyway, wishing you a happy Christmas from Diane. So that is something I keep very carefully. Um, I love that. So I flew all over the world, I suppose, with the royals. And I found these in the attic, actually, the other day. And these are some of the menus you got if you were lucky enough to go on, on the royal flight. Um, obviously, the media paid their own way, but it was quite grand. Look at the menus, aren't they lovely? Just kept a few of them. This one is from Islamabad to Delhi in 1997. So that would have been the, with the Queen. That was a very difficult tour, I remember, because it was uh, just after the death of Diana. This one is from Mount Pleasant to London. Uh, that was a really great trip in 1999. Uh, that was with Prince Charles. We went to um, Argentina and then Uruguay and then the Falklands. Very newsy trip. So I've kept those for some reason. Um, I've also got this, which is uh, a wonderful piece of uh, memorabilia to do with the Queen Mother. It was the, uh, it was June 2000, and it was a lunch at Guildhall to celebrate her 100th birthday. She was such a grand old lady, she really was. And so I was invited to the lunch, and look, this was the menu there. Well, seems to be about menus, doesn't it? About eating, look at this, whoa. That's beautiful. What did we have? We had Scottish lobster, wow. Chateau Leuville Barton, oh, delicious wines, roast saddle of Welsh lamb, <gasps> an eaten mess. Delicious. So that was for a lovely old Queen Elizabeth, the Queen Mother. Um, and this is, these are rather sad in a way. These, these are books that I really do value. Um, I got to know Diana quite well and she invited me to Kensington Palace uh, from time to time and we would sit down and talk and before she gave her historic interview to Panorama she talked to me um, and I took all these notes afterwards I didn't we just sat and chatted like two women actually but afterwards I wrote everything down and some of the things she told me are so historic I suppose because before Panorama, she said, well, Jenny, there are, th here it is. She says there were always, from day one, three people in the marriage. And she means Camilla. And she says she, she now understands that the relationship between Charles and Camilla was and is one of true love. And it was always going to be stronger than any marriage Charles might have made. So that's five months before Panorama. Pages and pages of these, what I regard as very very valuable notes. So that's some of the clobber I've accumulated over the years, but I have to say actually I've thrown a whole lot away because you can't keep everything. So there we are, just some of my memories. I have so many after such a long career. 50 years as a journalist this year actually, and uh, 30 reporting on the Royals. So I hope you enjoy my little trip down memory lane.